Hey, this is Tom. Welcome to the shop. I wanted to show you a project I've been working on kind of quietly in the last couple months, actually. It's a gift from my wife. She doesn't know about it, so don't tell anyone. And um, it is actually a, a way of doing sculptural details on a piece of live edge walnut that I thought you might find interesting. Here's the actual piece. I know what you're saying, some gift, huh? But to me, it's really nice. <laughs> Actually, it's, it's an unusual piece of walnut because it, it has this bend to it. It was either a limb or a tree that had fallen over and started to grow vertically again. So I had it for some time. I was trying to think what, what to do with it. It's got some really beautiful, interesting uh, figure right in here where where the tree was almost compressed as it made the bend. So this will end up having some beautiful waviness to it right in this area. But anyway, I had this piece. I wanted to show some of this live edge or the natural bark, uh, like the skin of the tree right beneath the bark. I thought that'd be pretty. And then what to do, though, about the rest of it? I wasn't sure. So you can see I've already done this sculptural treatment over here. I just drew some wild lines. I was trying to have something that felt natural, but was obviously just a beautiful kind of hand-done treatment to the edge. So I had a lot of fun with it, and it's really a simple, enjoyable process. So I thought I'd show you that right now. So here's a little closer view of the piece I was just describing, where I've got this wild area right in here and then you can see a little better that wavy grain that compression figure right in this area here which uh, will really come out and look deep with these waves when it's finished um, a little better look at what we're trying to achieve here you can see kind of this interesting sculptural look here how it, it curves in here and then as it rolls out it goes under and then around this corner and then out here on the outer edge we've got actually I did a little scoop right here I sawed the plank out to follow this dark heartwood right here so it made a natural curve right in I had a straight cut here so I tried to soften and sculpt that so it looked more natural so you come right on around this is going to be the the top of our, uh, our kitchen bar, which is actually, you know, like a breakfast bar. And our, our stove or our range is actually going to be right in this area. So this cutout fits beautifully for the range and you'll be able to take a seat up here or we'll probably end up loading it up with uh, papers most of the time. Cause that ends up being where we exchange our mail in the house but hopefully it'll be pretty enough that we won't do that too. All right so let's take a look at some of the techniques to create that edge. So to shape this edge I'm going to use hand tools mostly to get the effect. You could use power tools, you could use edge grinders, you could use a chainsaw but um, I find that the closer you can get to the work the more control and the more enjoyment you're going to have with it. Um, the, the simplest tool that I use to do this is a spoke shave. It's, um, it's got just a flat sole, a small sole, with the edge, the cutting edge coming below, almost like a potato peeler. Um, this is a Stanley 151 that I got from a flea market. That'll be my main tool. Then I'll go from that to clean up with a rasp. This is a Nicholson number 50. Then I have a finer file that has um, a rougher and a smoother edge. And lastly, I'll hit it with this card scraper or cabinet scraper. And finally then we'll go to sanding. And there won't be a whole lot of sanding to do because you'll have it so nicely shaped. But let's take a look. So you can see right here, this is the rough just rough edge of the, this board, it looks like the bark was fairly smooth and came, just broke off. 
So I'm going to use that as my guide for this area. But then I can do something a little more creative. So just holding the sole flat on the work, I pull it toward me. And I start getting these really nice curls coming off. Very controlled, very nice. I'm putting a soft radius to it. Make it interesting. There, that's enough of that. Let's, let's work the end a little bit. Then I go to this rasp. The rasp helps you refine and take the ridges out of the cutting surface from left from the spoke shape. Next, I would hit it with the rougher side of the file, then the smoother. And lastly, the card scraper that has a nice little burr on that edge. Doing this on the end grain greatly reduces the amount of sanding time. When you sand this end grain, you want to achieve almost a polished look like this here. So you're trying to remove all tool marks and it's very tough material right there. So to scrape out most of the, the jagged surface greatly reduces that sanding time. Okay, so lastly, I will take, I've got 220 on this palm sander. Okay.